Hi, I'm Toma Nahomi and I'm a technology evangelist here at Dell EMC. Today, I have another exciting announcement to give you and show off. Dell EMC CSM Installer Module. Dell Container Storage Modules aim at improving the observability, usability, and data mobility for stateful applications with Dell Technologies Stored Portfolio and extend Kubernetes storage features beyond what is available in the CSI specification. The CSM installer simplifies the deployment and management of Dell EMC container storage modules and CSI drivers to provide persistent storage for your containerized workloads. The CSM installer must first be deployed in a Kubernetes environment using Helm, after which the CSM installer can be used through the CSM CLI or via REST API. In this video, I will show you how to deploy the CSM installer and then, once it's installed, I'm going to show you how to install the Parflex CSI driver using it. So let's start by navigating to the Dell CSM documentation website and following the instructions here. Once I've deployed the CSM installer, I will go through the documentation of the CSM CLI to deploy the Parflex CSI driver into my cluster. Let's switch to the console. As you can see, I don't have any CSM or CSI drivers installed on my cluster. The first step is adding a reference to the Helm chart. Next, we need to create some certificates. First, we need to create a certificate for the API service we have in the installer, and then we need to create another certificate for a database to secure its connection as well. As you can see, both certificates have been created successfully. Now, let's review the values file I'll be using for the help chart installed. Here, I want just a single instance of the database. Next, I specify the JWT key that is used for assigning a token as well as a cipher key. Next, I need to provide my admin credentials, then, I need to provide a path to the images. In this example, I'm using my private images of the installer and the data collector, but you can of course use the public images as well. Now, we're ready to deploy the installer. I'm running the helm install command to install it in the CSM installer namespace. In addition, I'm specifying all the certificates that I've generated, as well as the values file that I've just edited. As you can see, after a few seconds, my database and installer pods are up and running. At this stage, we can use the CSM CLI tool to deploy any CSM module or CSI driver provided by Dell. For the purpose of this demo, I will install the Parflex CSI driver. The first step is setting the environment variable for the driver. The API service IP is pointing to my Kubernetes master node. Here, we can choose whether we want to use HTTP or HTTPS protocol for the API. Here, we specify the JWT path to store the JWT token. And next, we can change the log level for the installer. Now, let's authenticate using the username and password that I've just specified in the values file. Next, let's add a reference to the Kubernetes cluster where I want to deploy the CSI driver. I need to specify the cluster name as well as the path to the Kubernetes kubeconfig file. Then, let's add a storage system. Here, we need to provide the endpoint address of our storage system, the username, the storage system type and unique UUID, as well as some metadata. We can choose to skip the certificate validation and we need to provide a list of our MDM servers. Before running the installation, we can run the CSM get supported drivers command to list the supported CSI drivers. As you can see, all the version 2 CSI drivers are supported with the CSM installer. We can also run the CSM get supported modules command to list the supported CSM modules that can be installed using the installer. Next, let's run 
The CSM get cluster command to validate that the Kubernetes cluster discovery process completed successfully. Now we're ready to deploy the CSI driver. I'm running the CSM create application and referencing the cluster object I created earlier, the driver and its version, the unique UUID of the storage array. We can give it a name and then we can pass the driver configurations. For example, the image of the driver and the number of controller pods for the driver. Now, we need to approve the task that I've just requested using the CSM approve task command, and then to provide the name I selected for my deployment. Now, let's take a look at the Vic Flex OS namespace. As you can see, the driver is being installed with one controller and two nodes, one for each Kubernetes working node. At this stage, we are ready to provision persistent volumes from the Parflex cluster to my Kubernetes cloud native applications. I really hope you find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.